Hello all, welcome to Random Art with Karen, and I am so pleased to share with you today, I am the April guest designer for the Crafters Workshop. If you're not familiar with them, of course I'm going to put their link below, but let me tell you they have a huge variety of stencils. If you've never used stencils, you are in for a treat. For one thing, stencils do not take up any craft space. I mean, look at this, thin, no craft space <laughs> at all. So if you just have a small area, you're in good shape. The other thing I love about stencils is if you're like up here, up against, like if you're using it in your planner and there's the spiral, I'm able to manipulate this because of its flexibility and get all the way up to that. And I'm still going to get a beautiful imprint. You can use different types of mediums. Here I used my stamping ink. I use these little sponge daubers. And I just dip it in my ink pad and then come through here. You can use acrylic paints. You can use markers, pens. Um, and that's all I can think of right offhand. But <laughs> that's several. So use what you have. The other thing too is... You can use it that way or flip it over and use it that way. Unless, of course, you're using words, then that wouldn't work. <laughs> but here I loved it in my praise planner uh, from Faith Paper Shop. I used a soft gray so that I could write over it if I wanted to. And I did come in here and just took my ink pen and put write his word on my heart. Let me show you how I used it in a Happy Planner. This is a Happy Planner Classic. And in these planners, there are monthly dividers. And on this particular one, uh, it did have this beautiful coloration here, but there was nothing there. And that's when I decided to bring in my stencil from the Crafters Workshop. Now this time I flipped it over and used it this way. In here, I did use some of my acrylic paints. This brilliant blue, it's called Blue Jelly Bean. And look at the beautiful brightness you get from that. On that green leaf, I used Kale Smoothie. And then the others, I used some of my stamping inks. And you just, I just used just a regular old sponge to sponge that in. Over here, I used another stencil, also from the Crafters Workshop. Uh, this is called Birds on Branches. This one's called Mini Literary. And again, I will put links below. But this is another one you could flip over if you wanted to. And here I used all the acrylics from the Crafters Workshop. Brought in this beautiful lemon custard uh, to do the underbelly of this beautiful blue bird. But you can make it fit, see wherever you want to. Now I want to share how I use it in my Bible art. Again, same stencil. <laughs> You have to, <clears throat> excuse me, you have to appreciate when you have a product that can be used multiple ways. Those that do Bible art, uh, they use different things. They use stamps, pens, stickers, stencils. The other thing, if you're not into Bible art, they have these Bibles called note takers Bibles so that you have this space in the margins to do your artwork and documentation. So here I use the stencil and I used it on this side and I used my stamping inks and this was just a beautiful space there. Yeah, so if you're looking at some spaces in your note takers Bible, these stencils you can get in 6x6 six six or even 12x12. 12 12. Again, the other beauty, I was able to tuck that in right there because of the flexibility and got a beautiful image. 
So I hope I've given you some ideas today. Uh, do check out the Crafters Workshop. I appreciate them for allowing me to be a guest designer. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Become a subscriber if you're not already. Hope to be playing with some stencils with you next time.